Habakkuk 2 and 16. Thou shalt be filled with shame for glory. Drink thou also and let thy foreskin be uncovered. The cup of Yahweh's right hand shall be turned unto thee. And shameful spewing shall be upon thy glory. Call hello, Yahweh Bashem, I was shy, Bahashem, Rekhah, Kwadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. Now more so than ever, to the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth, that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, among the heathen nations that look like the heathens. And to the Akwaf that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolma from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago coming at you with a quick lesson. And um, this guy, although I, this is a YouTube video, I came across this guy first on uh, a TikTok. I don't know which one of his accounts he had, you know. Uh, I would assume it's probably the YouTube one because this one right here has 3.1 million views and it was four months ago. All right. And all he does is ask very elementary and basic questions. Most of the questions he asks, I'm, I'm pretty sure I could have probably uh, answered probably about 95% of them in the fifth and sixth grade. But uh, these Americans, you know, this shameful spewing, that scripture that I read was on the shame, was talking about the shame of Esau, Edom. But it's also referring to uh, the, his glory which America has been his glory. It has been, you know, it has been that, uh, you know, that, that great whore that the whole world sought after. And now the whole world laughs at America. It's a laughing stock, a complete and total laughing stock. So I'm literally going to play about one minute of this, of this video. And most of his questions are, you know, the la the videos that I've seen, most have been to women. You know, and she's got the ring in her nose and she could tell you about the LBGT and the alphabet lifestyles and all that. But the system has failed. And it's like uh, Elder Todd says, you know, one of the uh, elder bishops out in Connecticut. He calls it the United States fool system. And that's exactly what it is. It's not the school system. It's the fool system. And it has, it has completely failed these uh, these Gen Zers. And Z is the last letter in the alphabet. So, you know, this is the last generation before this. This is it. This is it. And they're going to go out stupid. Literally. Without further ado, dumbass Americans. Do you know how many stars there are on the U.S. flag? 52. Yes. What state is Utah in? <laughs> Michigan. Yes. Oh, my. Okay. Uh, this is... uh. Get some scriptures quickly. This is Job 39, 17, and it reads, and Because he have deprived her of wisdom, neither have he imparted to her understanding. All right. What state is Michigan in? And she says, Utah. Oh boy. You know what state Utah is in? Oh, he said it the other way. What state is Utah in? She said Michigan. All right. But let's see what she says. Oh, Keisha here. Oh my God. Is she in the background? Just put, How many donuts do you think she eats in one sitting? See, these are, I mean, when I just look around, this clown has got no shirt on. This is. Americans, man. And unfortunately, this is becoming a norm because women like this, now I'm a little off subject. You see the arrow back here. If you see the, the circle that I'm there, it's women like this that they go live on TikTok and 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 um and they'll get thousands of thousands of viewers sending them roses. And I just learned that when you send somebody a rose, it's something like 12 bucks. Straight folly. You got people who have accounts where they just, they go on live and just show themselves eating. And people click on and watch as they eat and chew with their mouth open and burp or whatever. They just, 
America, Americans, the West. This. So let me get back on point. So he said, do you know what state Utah's in? So let's see what she says. Utah, I, to be honest with you, I never heard of that place ever in my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Okay. This is a... Uh... <laughs> Damn, it's sad though. It really is sad. Okay, this is Proverbs 9. <laughs> 9 and 13. And it reads. <laughs> Proverbs 9 and 13. I needed a good laugh because this was a rough day. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. All right. Man, this is bad. Let me see. We're 20 seconds in. This is 11 minute video. And we're 20 seconds in. And I was only going to play literally like a minute of this. Okay, let's. Let's go forward. I live under a rock. Can you name three countries besides the USA? I suck at history. I was like, my worst subject. He asked her, can you name three countries outside of the USA? And then you see there's just a ticker tape on the side of you, Belarus, Belgium, Belize, you know, Bolivia. Those just the Bs. He didn't say what, he didn't give her a letter. He didn't say start with the letter B. He just said three countries. All right. She could have just named Mexico and Canada. They're just above and below America. That would have been really easy. But uh, let's see. She sucks at history when he didn't ask her anything about history. Nothing. You know, I got to read Proverbs again. This is Proverbs 9 and 13. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. But yet, you know, I'm pretty sure she was marching, you know, for her rights to uh, oh, team, by, team by pride. I just read her shirt. Didn't even notice that. But I'm sure she could tell you about all the alphabet lifestyles. Yep. And so bye. So I guess she likes uh she likes kitty and she likes, you know, and she likes eggplant too. Alrighty then. Let's see what she says. Okay, can we do like science? <laughs> no, no. Like any three. Any three, you know this. A country? Oh my geez, this is terrible. Uh, so happen. America's at Russia, we're at war with Russia and China right now. All right, so that's one. She could have said Korea. She could have said, uh, uh, you know, someplace in Ethiopia, Egypt. I mean, uh, Africa. She could have said, uh, yeah. I mean, she could have said a lot. I mean, there's, uh, you know, Australia, Tasmania. The, oh boy. Um, uh, country. What, besides the U.S.? Yeah. Huh? Ah! I'm sorry, I can't, I can't. All right, all right, it's fine. I can't do history, I can't. Do you know how many dimes there are in the dollar? Make up one dollar. Come on, Keisha. A dime is the ten cent or the five cent? You tell me. <laughs> uh, hold on. You know I'm always peeping the background. Why is my man back here? Look like he rolling a joint in Times Square on the street. That's America for you. Meanwhile, Keisha has to think about how many dimes are in a dollar. I don't know. Kim. Wow. Okay, one more. One more woman. Let's see. Three countries besides the USA. Um, yeah. So he went f to uh, to Esau. He went to Becky. He went to Keisha. Now he with Maria. Let's see if Maria can answer the question. Any three. You know this. Canada? 
New Mexico. Uh, all right. Right? That's good? No, no, not New Mexico. Yeah. Damn, I need one more. <laughs> uh, damn. Yeah, so you got Canada, New Mexico, and what? Ew. I need to go back to school. Do you know me? Okay, let's let's stop right there. That, yeah, it's painful now. It's not even funny no more. Um, you know, because folly is set in great dignity. That, as a matter of fact, let's get that. This is uh, Ecclesiastes uh, ten and six, and it reads, "Folly is set in great dignity, and the rich sit in a low place." So, the people with this knowledge, with this wisdom, you know, will laugh at mock called crazy and well now Esau's trying to label us terror terrorists you know they go into all them bootleg uh at water bootleg uh Israelite camps um the 501c3 charter camps um and uh that is what's elevated and that is going to link us to all sorts of uh because they do all these extra activities outside of the word you know outside of just teaching the word in season and out of season you know Folly is set in great dignity. You know, these different the alphabet parades, all this weird stuff that goes on with children. You know, uh, politics, uh, a failed political system that clearly does not work. Where all you do is get everybody caught up in red tape and bureaucracy and nothing gets done. While the people get uh, ripped off and, and overtaxed and all the money gets funneled into the private accounts and pockets of the, the the wealthy politicians or the or the uh or the people that or their handlers. Meanwhile, American youth can't even, you know, this is ridiculous, man. Let's go to uh last scripture. It's Proverbs 16 22. I started 21, all right, but the point is in 22, and it says, the wise in heart, which means your minds, shall be called prudent, and the sweetness of the lips increase of learning, so you should be ever learning, you know, you should, you know, you should be reading and seeking, you know, knowledge every day, spiritual knowledge first, and then just basic wisdom, you should be learning how to heal yourself, how to eat better, how to what things you can do to to make your body better, or you know, to uh to to make your performance better, what you know, whatever it be, you know, you should always be trying to seek wisdom. That's clearly, but everybody want here just girls just want to have fun, and so do these clowns that support them, all these simps like the ones that get on these uh, you know, these uh, uh not so attractive girls, uh live live shows and, and just and send them roses you know that's a tiktok thing if you didn't know you send a rose i think it's like 12 15 bucks um and i just learned that i had i had no idea until i was told um and and verse 22 and the point proverbs 16 22 understanding is a wellspring of life unto him that hath it all right but instruction of fools is folly so these fools, their instruction is folly. And that's what they gravitate to. So with that, I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, Wa'ababa, Ba'al, Kwam, Yasharala, Shalom.